Hi folks, Creator H here. Today we're gonna to look at the bucket wheel excavator and some modifications. We're just gonna do one primary modification that will lead to many other modifications. And that is to do with the outfit conveyor. I was having a bit of problems uh, getting material out. And it was getting caught down the bottom, rolling back down, and it wouldn't actually outfeed properly. I tried to extend the conveyor. I tried to also get a, a, a greater elevation uh, for the processing plant. But again, it, things would roll back down. So I had to bring it back to what I needed to do was put some sort of paddle system on the conveyor. A bit like what you see on the main boom with the one by five lift arms or lift beams. I uh, came up with a simple idea, which was to use studs on the actual main uh, conveyor. That worked really well, but it needed some modifications down the bottom. So that's what we're going to look at today. So let's take a look at the parts. We'll do a disassembly and then we will get it back together. Now we've got the outfeed conveyor off the bucket wheel. I've actually gone ahead and put our one by one studs in the track and I've actually separated them by five. So it's one, two, three, four, five, then the next repeating pair. We can actually see what's happening underneath now. It's getting stuck on two points. So it's the first point it gets stuck on is these lower roll, these first rollers, the guides. As it comes along, it just jams up and then the second point, if you can see it actually is in this gear right here. You can see it's actually getting stuck on that. It, it will go through, but it's not a smooth action. And what happens is as the system is, is moving parts around, you've got the upper feed, lower feed, and the bucket wheel, uh, the gears and the clutch gears just slip. It's just too much pressure on the system. So what we need to do is add a roller in here and add a roller in here just to hold the conveyor up and off of these two pinch points. So what we need to do is flip it over and we start our disassembly. What we do is put our parts we're going to reuse to one side just to keep them out of the way. We have to do a partial disassembly, not a full disassembly partial. So this is our first part of the mod which is removing this uh, bush, putting that to one side and putting our first wheel in just like that and we can put it back in. That way it keeps the studs off these rollers. The second part of the mod we have to disassemble this section Take off this L beam, keep it as one section, makes it a bit easier. We're removing that guy, these two pins here, putting to that to one side, and we're adding in this assembly, which is a seven beam axle and a bush, and then that just drops straight in where we actually got that uh, those pins out of. We put our L-beam back in position. Uh, this makes it a bit loose, so what we need to add next is our beams with axle. They actually go straight in here, and they hold everything together. We add our section we removed at the start back in. get our nine beam axle and slide that straight straight through in place of the seven beam 
what we need to do next is add the L-beams in to support the lower roller. We've got one, put our, whatever, we've put our friction pin in the center hole and that just clips in there, just like that. We need to assemble our lower roller. So that is axle pin with out friction. Our five beam in there, followed by a bush, followed by a roller, followed by a bush, spacer, and again, the friction pin. That just drops straight in, as you can see the L beam there, to the top hole sits just like that. We then take our second L and put that in there. Line them all up as best as possible. Add our beam back in. Supporting beam. Our small L beam. our bushes back on to hold it all together. That's it, quite a simple mod, but it, it lets you be able to do many more things to this section. So if we have a look now, as we're rolling through, it's not hitting these red rollers anymore, these red bush spaces. As you can see, it's got a nice amount of clearance there. And if we look down here, misses the gear altogether as well. But it allows for a nice smooth transition of the track around as it moves along. Okay, now what we need to do is put this back on our bucket wheel. And to do that, we just remove this section here. like that and then we put it back in move the gear gear goes back in External drive gear is back on. Back on here. And we can fit our beam back in to hold it all together. And then we can give it a quick test. it on. You can see the conveyor is still working. Now if we get some simple parts, just got some technique parts. Add them in. The idea being as you can see it actually helps it move along and, and they don't fall down. It also helps clear the lower section of the conveyor belt as well, so there is no build up down the bottom. That completes our first bucket wheel modification. Uh, up next, we're looking, we'll look at doing a extension on the back, uh, potentially a elevation as well, so we can actually get a truck underneath and all the processing plant. We're also looking in the future for doing a video on putting in a, a secondary motor for the actual driving wheel itself as this, the transfer of torque through the system it has got a lot of backlash and it actually uses a lot of the energy up just moving the conveyors. So that'll be a video for the future. If you subscribe and hit the little bell, uh, you'll get notifications of, of when these next videos come up. That's all we have for today. So thanks for watching and bye for now.